In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to determine fair market value of land, why you wanna know the market value, you know, and how to figure it out. You know, you never wanna to pay too much for a piece of land, so you definitely want to know what it's worth. So I'm gonna tell you, you know, how to rely on the experts as far as like, what are they charging for the land? What are they selling the land for? The second point I'm gonna make is go where the land's already at. And that's one way to figure out what it's worth. And then the third and final point is the easiest price and tool you'll ever find. So let's rely on the experts. You know, I don't wanna to have to become an expert at pricing land or like a land appraiser. You know, a lot of people that call in wanting to sell their land, a lot of times they just want us to appraise their land. And that's not what we're here to do. We're here to buy land at massive discounts and turn around and sell it at premium and retail prices. So when I go out to figure out the fair market value of land, I wanna to talk to the people that are already helping others buy and sell land. I wanna to talk to the land experts, the people that already have their hands in it, that are already familiar with that area. And how do you find these people? These are realtors. How do you find this realtor that is an expert in land? One, the first thing it could be is just picking up the phone and calling the local real estate office that's close to that land and saying, hey, do you guys deal in land? Yes, awesome, who's your best land specialist or who's your best land realtor? They might say, well, it's John, or hey, no, we actually don't deal in land, you need to call the real estate company next door, and then you know, proceed to do that. Another really cool trick is by going to a land site, a land website called landwatch.com, landwatch.com, going to that county that you're in, let's just say it's El Paso County, and you scroll down until you see an actual land specialist and a lot of times this is a licensed real estate agent so they've got a vested interest in working with you and helping you price the land and one way i asked that realtor here's the question i asked him i said hey i'm looking at buying this piece of land here's the address if i were to buy it what could you blow it out for in 30 days i want a 30-day blowout price what's this land worth Oh, $25,000, awesome. That's where, that gives me the benchmark of where I need to be to buy this land. That's the fair market value in my mind because I'm not looking for what can I get for it You know, 20 years from now. I wanna know 30 days. Like I like to keep things within 30 days and I like to be paying that amount. You know, If it's worth 25,000 and I'm trying to get it for 50 cent or less on the dollar, I need to be paying somewhere around 12,000 or less all in for this property. All right, next are the sites where land is already listed. I wanna to talk to you about two sites that you've probably heard of by now. It's a common, well-known household name, and that's Zillow.com or Redfin.com. You know, some people love Zillow, some people love Redfin. I know I'm in some counties where there's no Redfin data, and I'm in some counties where there's hardly any Zillow data. So figure out which one is best for you, and actually go and look and see what's sold in the last six months, and you wanna compare like items, you know, apples to apples, oranges to oranges, so if you're looking at a five acre parcel of land, you wanna be around somewhere around five acres and looking at what's sold in the last six months for a five acre piece of land in that area. You know, chunk it down as little as possible. Get to the micro level as much as possible. You know, once you see what it's sold for, let's now go another step and see what's active listings. You know, what's actually on Redfin or Zillow for sale in that county, in that city or your playground you know, in that area right now for sale and see what's there, how much they're asking and how long it's been on Zillow or Redfin. And then you take the solds and the actual four sales and you add them up and pretty much average them out. You wanna average those two together. You know, you might see the solds are going for 1,100 an acre and the active listings are going for 1,500 an acre. We'll add 1,100 plus 1,500 and get the total and then just divide it by two and that's where I'd wanna be. That would probably be around somewhere around, you know, 1,200 an acre. You know, I'm no math magician. I'm just doing this off the top of my head, but say 1,200 an acre, that's what it's worth. And you've got 10 acres, 1,200 an acre times 10, what is that, $120,000? That's what the market value is for that piece of land. And if you wanna be somewhere at 50 cents on the dollar for that, 120,000, you need to be paying somewhere around $60,000 for that parcel of land. That's the second way to figure out what land is worth. And the third way, the easiest pricing tool you'll ever find is a little website that just popped up. These guys are also land investors. They're amazing. They're actually in the Air Force still, but they built a website that helps us and analyze properties, comp it, see what it's worth, and it's called Priced 
Com. And if you use my link, it's in the description below, you'll get a seven day free trial plus your first 400 records are free. So you can literally start mailing landowners today. That's priced.com forward slash the land sharks. And let me tell you a little bit more about priced. It's really cool. You look up the county and you can do all these filters. You can filter out the people that are behind on taxes or you can filter out the out of state owners and only get a list of them. But they show you exactly what the land's worth, the fair market value. So you don't have to go out and talk to realtors. You don't have to go on Zillow or Redfin. They show you right there and they show you the comps they're actually pulling from, the comparable properties. That's what comps means. That's all that means. And you can click on it and actually see the specific properties to make sure we're comparing apples to apples. And then they go as far as saying, you can offer 10 cents of the dollar, 20, 30, 40, and you can literally select that amount and you can start mailing letters today with those offer amounts plus you know the fair market value. So that is the easiest pricing tool you'll ever find. All right, so this is the time. Before I give you any more nuggets, I've got a pro tip coming for you, but I'd like for you to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And while I wait, I'm gonna keep just talking, asking you to share. Share this to someone that might need to figure out what the fair market value of their land is, or maybe you do. Like it, subscribe it, and comment. I would love for you to comment and tell me about what you do as far as your situation for figuring out like what land is worth. Go ahead, I'll wait. So here's a pro tip. You know, there's tools out there that make us very lazy. You know, one thing might be GPS. If any of you watching this can remember, before we had GPS, we actually had to look at a map or this, this thing called MapQuest. We had to figure it out and it was always wrong. Then we get this little device in our car and now it's on our phone. It really kind of makes us lazy and also I think honestly stupid. I think it makes us stupid. So price.com is amazing. Price.com forward slash the land sharks. It's awesome to have, but you want to build that backbone, that foundation, you know, any foundation you got to dig like six feet down and bring in fill dirt and then rebar and steel and concrete. And then you start building the house. So I want you to know what your land in your area, the fair market value is for your playground before you start using cool tools like price.com. You wanna basically know the street map, know the road map before you turn on the GPS. I call price.com the GPS, but I want you to talk to the realtors. I want you to look at zillow.com, redfin.com, know your area, whatever an acre is going for or a buildable lot, you know, know it already and just let price.com kind of be a tool for you to make your life a little easier. So I've got a great free gift for you today and it's my land buying roadmap. Anytime me or my team buy a piece of land, we look at this roadmap and this roadmap was built by all the mistakes we've made in the past. And if I could save you from doing it, go below in the description and click on the link for my free gift to you.